In this week's installment, we will look at three techniques you can use to make your life easier. Those will be changing the default font, searching through notes and tags, and then finally extracting text from pictures. So yes, you can snap a snapshot of notes that you may see on the whiteboard at a meeting or in a classroom, and then just boom, have those in your OneNote notebook. So we'll start with this one, changing the default font. And this is for people who find themselves squinting at the screen a little bit, who find the default font a little hard to read. You can change those defaults. It'll depend on which version you're using. Remember that there are now two versions. There's the Office 365 version, and there's the Universal Windows Platform version, which are uh, included. The Universal Windows Platform is the free one that you can get on your iPad or on a Windows 10 device or on a Macintosh computer. So we'll start with that one. This is the Windows 10 version. And you want to come up here to the uh, dots in the upper right hand side, the settings and more. So if you click that, click on settings, click on options, and then down in this list, there is the ability to change the default font. So obviously, you would change the font and then the font size here if you want the text bigger, smaller, or whatever. If you are doing this in the Office 365 desktop application, you go to the backstage view by clicking on the file menu. Uh, uh, you click on options and then it's in this section here default font finally let's look at the Macintosh side of the ledger here and this is done from the OneNote menu you click on preferences and then from preferences you go to edit and view and in edit and view there's where you set the default font so these are fairly easy to change it's just a matter of knowing where these settings exist and as you've seen they can be different depending on which version of the application you're using. So that can really be the most confusing part. So the next thing we'll look at is searching through your notes. And this is something that will, again, look a little bit different depending on which version of the application you're using. So on the Macintosh side, what you want to do is go to this search item on the upper left hand side of the interface. So if you give that a click, it'll bring up recent search as you can see. So if you know that you have something you have a note about if this and that and you want to type that in if this then that and then you press enter what you might see is something like this it says no results found in this page and you think I know I had a note on that well remember this little filtering button here so the default should be all notebooks but double check that and if you are confident that you have a note on something that you're not finding then make sure that you're searching through all notebooks or the current notebook and then indeed there is the phrase that I'm doing the search for right there. So it'll just take me over to that page where I have that note. Now, if we're looking at the Windows 10 version, it's going to be the search button is going to be a little bit different. The placement is different. So it's right here to the right of the title of the notebook. So if I give that a click, notice here that the interface again changes a little bit. And what you're searching through, you can define by this drop down, and then you can search pages or you can search tags. So, as an example here, let's just say you want to search through your current notebook or all notebooks. Let's just change this to the current notebook. And I want to search for any to do items. So, if I just start typing in TO, then the tags should fill in automatically. Any tags that start with TO should fill in. So, I can give that a click. And now it gives me all of the to-do items that are in the current notebook or maybe the current section. Now, the part where it kind of really departs from this is on the desktop application. And that is, if you're using the desktop application, the search is pretty straightforward. You can do Control-E as the shortcut to always do a search. But you can also click right up there and then you define what you're searching through with that dropdown. But if you're searching for specific tags, if you want to find your to-do items, what you have to do is use the Home tab of the ribbon and then come up here. Under the tag section, you click on Find Tags. And now you have a tag summary. It'll show you all the tags that are used in your current notebook. And now you can group up the tags by tag name if you're using a lot of different tags in your notes and notice here this is kind of an interesting one show only unchecked items so if you're looking for all of your to-do items across multiple pages in a notebook the office 365 presents a very easy way to do that you can even at the bottom create a summary page and have that page in your notes so again these are just ways that 
will hopefully make your life easier, especially if you are using OneNote to keep track of delegated or assigned tasks that you might have. Now, in terms of the things that can make your life easier in OneNote, this third technique is extracting text from pictures, and it's also the most easy to implement. So all you have to do is have a picture in your notes. So I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll insert a picture from a file here, and I know this picture has some text in it. Once that's added, and once OneNote has had a moment or two to use its optical character recognition kind of in the background, you should be able to now select the picture, right click it, and copy the text from the picture. Once that text is copied, you can paste it anywhere else you want. So let's give it a try and see if this has worked. Let's go over to the Office 365 version and I'll select the picture that I just added here because these notebooks are syncing up. Give it a right click and yep, there's copy text from picture. You can see that OneNote was recognizing the text from the picture. Now I should be able to go anywhere else in any notebook, any page, right click, and I should be able to paste. So there we go. Now, it's not always perfect. As you can see here, it'll depend on the quality of the image. I had some reflections with the, the lighting here. So how accurate it'll be will depend well, a lot on, on the original image that you're using. But that technique can certainly make life a lot easier when you're in a meeting or in a classroom. Remember that we publish stuff like this every week. So if you enjoy the video, Go ahead and subscribe. There's really no side effects of that. Nothing bad will happen if you subscribe and give the video a like. We'll see you next time.